Warlike words from a senior North Korean general that are concentrating mines across the region and as far away as Washington. The threat to tear up the 1953 armistice agreement that halted hostilities in the Korean War. The North's response to planned US and South Korean military maneuvers. It's a threat that's been made before. US and South Korean exercises always inflame passions in the North. But the real reason for North Korea's rhetoric may be what is happening in New York, where the Security Council is drawing up plans for new sanctions against Pyongyang, sanctions that even North Korea's sole ally, China, may well back. The sanctions contained in this draft resolution will significantly impede North Korea's ability to develop further its illicit nuclear and ballistic missile programs. The hope at the UN is clearly that more sanctions, especially if endorsed by Beijing, may give North Korea pause for thought. The fear, though, is that Pyongyang may resort to some kind of show of force. North Korea's new and relatively inexperienced leader, Kim Jong-un, is still feeling his way. It's a regime that's still unpredictable at best. North Korea's missile program and a third nuclear test only last month have prompted the UN to get tough. Patience with Pyongyang is wearing thin, but nobody knows just how North Korea will respond to the growing pressure. Jonathan Marcus, BBC News.